Now I will be talking about scales of measurements. More specifically, primary scales of measurement. There are four primary scales of measurements. They are nominal, ordinal, ratio and interval. Firstly, nominal scale. This is the formal definition. Nominal scale is a scale whose numbers serve only as labels or tags for identifying and classifying objects. When used for identification, there is a strict one-to-one -one correspondence between the numbers and the objects. Now, what does this mean? It means that you only use to label and identify any object with any number. And this means that only one number will be assigned to only one object. For example, we can label male as 0 and female as 1. In that case, gender would be a nominal scale. That was probably not the best example. Don't worry about it. I'll go through the examples again. Now let's talk about the ordinal scale. Ordinal scale is a ranking scale in which numbers are assigned to objects to indicate the relative extent to which some characteristics is possessed. It is possible to determine whether an object has more or less of a characteristics than some other object. For example, let's talk about four restaurants. You have McDonald's, Burger King, KFC and Pizza Hut. Le and let's say you were asked to rank the restaurants. You might put it like this, that KFC is number one, then McDonald's, Pizza Hut, Burger King. One, two, three, four. In this way, we understand which restaurant you like the best and which you like the least. And then we have interval scale. Interval scale is a scale in which numbers are used to rate objects such that numerically equal distances on the scale represent equal distances in the characteristic being measured. Now what does that mean? Say you still have those four restaurants and we ask you to rate them on a 1 to 7 scale based on your satisfaction level. Say your satisfaction with them are like this. In this example you are most satisfied with McDonald's and least satisfied with Burger King. In this case the difference between 4 and 5 is absolute. However, you can also put it something like this, where two of the restaurants have the same satisfaction level. That is one problem with ordinal scale. You have to rank them on a basis that the difference between one and the other is not really clear. You just had to say one, two, three, four. But what was the difference between one and two? And two and three was not clear. Maybe one has surpassed two on a really close margin. You would not know with ordinal scale, but with interval scale, it is pretty clear. Again, the difference between 4, 5, 6, 7 is the same. Another important point for interval scaling is that the zero point for interval scale is arbitrary. We can ask the respondents to choose from a 1 to 7 scale or 1 to 10 scale or 50 to 60 scale. It's up to us. And lastly, Ratio scale. The ratio scale possesses all the properties of other primary scales and also has an absolute zero point. The examples for ratio scaling is height, weight and age. These cannot vary from one person to another. Now let's talk about now let's talk about all four of the scales of measurements in one single example. Let's say that there is a race and there are three runners the number of their jersey let's assume is four nine and two the number of this jersey would be nominal scale and these runner in the race came in first second and third this first second and third rating is ordinal scaling and let's say that there was a judge panel that rated their performance all throughout the race. And their performance rating were 9.2, 8.5 and 8.3. Here you can see that the difference between the first and the second runner is more than the difference between the second and the third. 
that is interval scaling and lastly the time each runner took to finish the race that would be 12.1 second 14.5 and 14.9 that is ratio scaling the interval scaling the score of the judges can vary from person to person but the time that is the ratio scaling cannot vary at all the zero point is fixed 12 second 14.5 and 14.9 I hope you understood this example if not let's talk about another example let's go through the four restaurants again you have four types of scaling nominal ordinal interval and ratio let's say I have coded the restaurants at 1 2 3 4 that is for me to understand what I have coded the restaurants for if someone says restaurant number 3 that would mean for me is Pizza Hut that is not the rating of Pizza Hut I understand that Pizza Hut is number 3 for me and so on for KFC McDonald's and Burger King but if I ask someone that what is their preference for each of these restaurants that would be ordinal scaling someone might like McDonald's more than Burger King more than KFC and KFC more than Pizza Hut that would be ordinal scaling and the interval scaling would be the rating they would give to the restaurants themselves here again I have put 1 to 7 scale you can also put 11 to 17 scale that's up to you but the example for ratio scaling would be the amount of money you have spent on each of this restaurant in the last month or in a given period of time this is by no means arbitrary and the value is fixed now I really hope you understood the four types of scales of measurements and lastly I would like to thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something new today.